Good day, Jeffrey Friedman, Senior Market Strategist, RJO Futures, here in Chicago on the 21st of February with my Stock Index Future comments on where and how and why. Word of the day. The word of the day is slightly positive. That's where we are for the week. That's where we are for the year for the NASDAQ is positive. Slightly for the year, the Dow and the S&P are slightly negative. Why is that? Well, we started off the year kind of pulling back dramatically, and the last three weeks we rallied back. But this week alone, we're only up a little bit, okay? But it would be the third week in a row. Last week, just to give you an example, S&P's March contract was at 1835. Right now we're trading at 1841.42. Big time resistance in the S&P future contract March around 45. We need the week to close above 45, 46, 47, okay? Or next week, two weeks in a row. We can't seem to get through that threshold of resistance. And if we do, some people are talking that we're going to go to 1900. I personally think that if we do close above it, we could get to 1890. Some people are even saying 1912. Now, let's take a look at some of the economics because that was the technical. Now remember, if that resistance on the technical side is a wall and we can't break above it, then we're probably going to get down to 1805. And if we want, we want to look for what would change the upside momentum dramatically, and we'll use the S&P March contract because it's the broadest index of all three that I've just mentioned. Now, uh, looking at it, the number would be on a trend reversal point, 1773 in my opinion, 1775, 1780, but if we close around 1775, we could have a trend change. Now let's look at the fundamentals real quick, and then I'll let you go. We had housing this week. It was a little weak, but not dramatic. We had PPI, which was a little strong. That's the wholesale inflationary index. We had CPI, that's the retail index. And that was a mixed bag. Wholesale was a little better than we thought on inflation and consumer spending or inflation was a little weaker. Remember always? Trading futures or option of futures involves risk of loss, not suitable for everyone. You should be calling me. Good luck and good trading.